Hey, what's up everybody? This is Wade from Unparalleled Universe. I just wanted to let you know about the Kickstarter that I've launched for the first ever 112 scale Odious figure. Odious is a character that I've created and I'm trying to make a figure of him via Kickstarter. So be sure to check that out. Odious 112 scale action figure on Kickstarter. Thank you very much. Peace. Hey guys, M2 Collector here with another figure review. Next up is the Hasbro G.I. Joe Classified Series number 74, the Scrap Iron and Anti-Armor Drone. Uh, before we kind of get into it, I want to show you guys how this drone is actually placed in the package. So there is going to be some assembly required. Uh, the Foot Locker is a little, quite a bit larger, um, and the accessory bag... Um, are huge and heavy because the blast effects are just pretty insane in here. So I'm excited to, to open this up, piece this thing together, but I wanted to show you guys that the drone, uh, the anti-armor drone does come in a couple of pieces. So some assembly required um, and everything. The figure was, you know, placed inside there like that. Uh, so it's pretty cool how it's all set up, but let me go ahead and put it together and we'll get back to the video. Okay, so I got the anti-armor drone and it's still in a couple of pieces. I didn't put it together yet uh, because I wanted to show you guys the separate articulation of these treads. Like these, uh, these things move around um, like crazy, which is pretty damn awesome. But once you get, you know, the top piece on there, I'm afraid you won't be able to see the true range of motion that this thing can do. Look at that. You can do the full, full swivel on there. Um, but to put it on there, it's just on a ball peg. We're just going to push it on and boom like so, and that is it. This is gonna swivel around and move around all you want, uh, like that, which is pretty freaking awesome. And then depending on the terrain, right, it may have to like, you know, shift its balance and stuff, and that's kind of how you would get this look for it. Um, unfortunately, these are not real treads. There's no motion. They do feel a little bit rubbery. Uh, maybe like it's a rubber overlay in there, but they don't move or anything like that. So it would just kind of slide across although it does want to grip a little bit since it is a little bit rubbery but yeah this thing is just looking really damn awesome scrap iron is looking pretty damn ugly as well in a good way because he's all scarred up on the side of his face which is pretty awesome so again i got mine from toysnowman.com uh they are based in canada um so the price is a little bit higher i forget exactly what it was um a little over 50 dollars uh but this is not currently in stock at toysnowman.com they are on their pre-orders for the second batch which will likely still arrive before u.s retailers get them so make sure to check it out video description below i have a, my referral link which will give you a five percent off coupon code for first time buyers in your frost rewards so make sure to check out toysnowman.com uh looking at the package this was a hefty heavy box it's going to be about the same as like the snake eyes uh timber uh, version 2 you can see cobra scrap iron anti-armor drone down at the bottom we get the artwork for scrap iron there we get the full loadout and all the accessories that it comes with we got the anti-armor drone there um and then we have scrap iron we got the full artwork on the side there. Um, we get a QR code here. So similar to Torpedo, that QR code doesn't work. It takes you to a dead website of like shop.hasbro.com, something like that. Um, and again, another look at the full loadout. It's pretty freaking awesome. Let's go ahead and get in for a closer look at Scrap Iron. Then we'll take a closer look at the, the anti-armor drone. We'll put all of the accessories and all of that together and take a look at it and go uh, and go pretty nuts. The Foot Locker, same Foot Locker, is just a massive one. And I think I figured it out. I was like always wondering, like, why does it look upside down? I think if the Foot Locker is like this, you got the Cobra logo on there, you got the handle, right? And then you got the numbers all line up. And then the name would just be on the bottom because you wouldn't see it. So, boom, I figured it out. I'm it's kind of dumb how long it took me to figure that out but anyway moving on scrap iron okay so here's an up close look at scrap iron and he is looking ugly look at that crazy scarring there on the side we get that nice red paint that's added in there and the sculpted detail of that scar and it is all sculpted in there and it's pretty gnarly looking he's got a bunch of scarring on the other side of his face as well the eye there's no pupil in there or it looks like they're kind of is it's actually just like a light green color in there um it's pretty crazy and looks pretty damn awesome it got a little bit of hair up top there just an all-around awesome looking head sculpt just came out looking really damn good i really like it really really like it the rest of the figure we get this big ass vest on there a little bit of red some dark red some silver in the buckles we've got black grenades pouches there cobra logo on his right shoulder there uh black uh padding for his elbows my uh left arm that top uh elbow joint is a little loose unfortunately so that kind of sucks uh, but it's not terrible not too bad uh the rest of the figures is just blue and black so blue pants with some black knee pads uh black boots with a little bit of red on there uh, but just looks really good. These buckles are all painted on there. 
just looks really, really nice. It is pinless, so no pins at the elbows, no pins at the knees. Just looks really good. It's hard for me to tell if there is even an ab crunch in here or not. Um, you would not get any use out of it because of the overlay vest. I feel like maybe there's not even... I don't even think there is an ab crunch in there. So Because with the vest on, you wouldn't be able to use it. So if you were to cut the vest off, I think there is no... Uh, there's no ab in there anyway. We do get the ball joint at the waist, but you know that is going to limit the articulation a little bit. But he's going to be stay, staying back quite a bit and just using the anti-armor drone anyway, right? But anyway, there is the scrap iron figure looking really, really nice. Okay, so I, I, I zoomed out and lowered the camera really, really far so we could take a look at all of the different accessories. Um, so we do have a helmet here for scrap iron, and that looks pretty good. Let's see how that works. We're just going to pop that onto his head. Fits on there like so. Not too shabby looking at all. Let me get the lighting. So we have that. I'll stick that off to the side. We do get the remote control to um, to control the drone. That looks pretty good. Just black plastic, couple of antenna with a little bit of a red screen with some kind of a radar look to it. Um, that's kind of cool. It reminds me of like the Wii U gamepad. We'll stick that off to the side. We do get a side arm for scrap iron as you can see there. It does have a little peg hole in there for the muzzle effects. Um, he does have the holster on his right leg so you can just holster that side arm uh, like so. And then here's um, all, all of the, the craziness on here. Uh, so we get these big puffs, clouds of smoke with a little bit of this flame kind of going to it. So I got to figure out kind of how to piece that, but you can, you can see there that is hollow on the inside. So the way it looks, it you know, when you fire, I guess it would just kind of come off to the side or maybe where it lands. And then this one, you could kind of see the frosted smoke there too and a little bit of the translucent. Um, on there, I think maybe a little heavy on the white, ba the off-white paint for the cloud coverage of it, but that's pretty cool. We get these crazy swirl and blast effects on here, like <laughs> it, they just, as you can see, they spike out and then that just gets a circular motion here on the side. That is not removable piece in any way. That's like glued together on there like that, so it is stuck on there. And again, that would just kind of sit on the ground too. I think some of this white paint is actually flaking off on my desk. Um, and then we get another one over here. It looks like they're not exactly the same as you could see. The size difference is actually pretty pretty crazy. Um, so you got the different size of these effects. Uh, we get these trail effects for the rockets, the missiles. So we get these ones here. Same thing. We get the white uh, cloud smoke over there. Um, and then the rockets, they do actually port right on into these effects. So you kind of get that trail going, which is pretty insane. So we get that one. And we get another one, which is actually a little bit shorter, quite a bit shorter there. And again, the same thing, they're gonna just port right on into these missiles. And then the, the missiles, we actually get two of them. One says laser gut, well, they both say laser gutted, both say zero four. They're actually the exact same, same size and everything like that. There's no difference between the two. Um, so we get these two big ass missiles there. So that is all the accessories with the anti-armor um, drone as well as the drone itself. So you can see Ant, um, Ant Tank uh, 002, and then we get the Mars logo there, right? I think that's the Mars logo. And then here it says uh, Piezo Electric, and then it's got a serial number on there, a bunch of numbers, and then it goes into Cobra. Uh, there we get some tail lights there a little bit of silver paint in there There's a sculpted Cobra logo right there in the middle up at the top Whatever this piece is here nice silver paint around there a little bit of green paint here Which looks like it could potentially be some sort of screen on there It looks really good like an old-school LCD screen like you know old-school alarm clock type things That's exactly the look that it reminds me of here in the front looks like a couple of like cameras and things We get some nice little paint on there a little bit of a gold paint, I think, on the camera for whatever reason. It looks like it's coming off red, but to me, it's a it's a gold paint. A little bit of paint here and stuff going on on the inside, and then you just have these open sections here where these missiles just slide on in. Oh, I didn't. You know what? I didn't even realize this because it was all black, and I'm just not paying attention. Those are like vents. You can actually see in there. So when you place these missiles in there, you can actually see them, and they sit in there quite nicely, like so. A little bit of red there. So yeah, there is the drone. And again, you can position it certain ways. And then depending, you know, how you do it. I'm trying to think, can you get it to point up 
more so and uh, I mean not really really that's kind of the most there which you know still pretty good um, but again you yeah you can't get the full motion with um, with this top piece that's actually on there but yeah that's pretty awesome and I wonder how let's see Ah, so look at that. So it's already like mid-fire. So these pieces, so these extend out, they actually port in there and they stay, which is cool. So you can have the missiles as they go. Same thing, this one, you pour that one all the way in. And boom, and I guess you would want to do it this way so you can actually read that laser guided. And then you you're firing at different times, like so, which is pretty, which is pretty insane. Okay, let's so go ahead and go on to the articulation for scrap iron and get his helmet um, off of him. There, the neck is on a separate uh, joint there, but the neck itself doesn't have a whole lot of movement, so it's not really going to go back to get scrap iron to look up any more than that. Unfortunately, it's not really going to move forward to get scrap iron to look any more down. Although I guess that's a decent amount. You do get full rotation, of course, and you do get some head pivot going on in there. The shoulder you can get to go straight on out, and you get a full rotation in there. There is a butterfly joint, but um, Going back is going to be pretty limited, and then going forward is really going to be nothing at all. It just doesn't. It just doesn't really work. Uh, upper bicep swivel in there. Double jointed pinless uh, elbow. Again, my top elbow portion is super thin, unfortunately, but that much bend there. Uh, the wrist swivel left. Uh, the left hand is a trigger finger and has the standard horizontal hinge, um, which isn't great for wielding the gun um, that it comes with, but the right hand can do that. And it does have a vertical hinge, but the the hand peg is, so, is pegged too far deep in there that you don't get a whole lot of use out of that hinge, unfortunately. You'd have to pull it out and, and try to get it to work in there. Um, and as I mentioned before, I don't think there's an ab crunch in there. Well, I can't say for sure without cutting the vest to take a look in there. I don't feel like there's any movement, so I think the chest, the torso piece is solid. You do get a ball joint at the waist, which gives us the swivel. And then he, you do get a little bit of a tilt that you can do, right? So there's tilting to his left. You could tilt to his right like so. You can go back a little bit. It's not really a whole lot, um, but you it, you can't come forward at all. So that is unfortunate there. Legs go out super far apart. We do have the drop down hips, as you can see there. Can kick forward very high. Let me drop it down and then kick, as you can see there. Uh, there is the upper thigh cut there double jointed knee which is very stiff so be very careful with that that much there it is pinless there is a boot swivel at the top of the boot cut foot hinges down you get a little bit of hinge up ankle pivot peg holes at the bottom of the feet so pretty good but these chet these rubber overlays for these gi joe figures do greatly hinder uh the articulation but you know kind of like the torpedo figure um, there's no rubber overlay on that one, so it works out quite well. But some of the other ones, it's a little disappointing and to the point where I'm pretty sure there's just no ab crunch at all because what would be the point if you're not going to get any use with this rubber vest? But I'm sure there's going to be folks out there that are probably going to cut this vest off for different variations. But again, I don't know. Oh, there is an ab crunch. I see it. Let me see. You just, again, you can't you can't use the ab crunch because of the vest. But there is one I actually did finally get a chance to see it under the, the brighter light. So there you have it. Okay, so just kind of getting the wide shot again with the anti-armor drone. And you got scrap iron using the remote control uh, there. Um, this is pretty awesome. You can have it in the background or you can make it the, the subject of your photo um, shots. So you get the, the smoke trails on there and again they do peg in there so they're not they're not going to fall out or go anywhere they're in there you know fairly tight and again you know if you put the missiles in there those do not peg in there they would just kind of rest in there and then they could do they could just kind of fall out on their on their own so you know depending on how you kind of want to do that if you could have it to where oh one of the missiles is already fired off and then you can have blast effects like he's under attack you know, when you have the different things. I think a lot of folks are going to be able to do some pretty awesome stuff with these effect pieces. Um, you know, doing your photography and things like that. So, you know, this this figure and the anti-armor drone gets that deluxe price. Whereas, you know, think of like, 
Actually, I think it's a little bit higher. So if you have like snake eyes and timber, that's around the 40 to $45. I think this was like a $50 pack, uh, but it's pretty awesome. So kind of like a vehicle, we got the anti-armor drone, um, which has really good articulation, which is pretty crazy how it can maneuver in some ways. Uh, additional point of articulation here would have been pretty insane if you can kind of hinge um, that tread a little bit would be pretty crazy. Um, you know, for now you can twist around all you want. You can kind of go like this, but then all these effect pieces are pretty insane as well you guys let me know down in the comments below what do you think of this scrap iron figure and the anti-armor drone i think it is pretty damn awesome um it's not as good as torpedo because again torpedo is just an amazing um action figure all around um so it just does not um does not compete you, you can't in my opinion for whatever reason i just absolutely love that torpedo figure so uh, a lot of new gi joe figures coming out yo joe june is underway lots of reveals and announcements and pre-orders going up make sure to check out toysnowman.com for your gi joe needs um, they're based in canada but they can ship anywhere um, so make sure use my referral link get you that five percent off coupon code for all those first time buyers out there torpedo in stock Scrap Iron is a pre-order for batch number two, so if you don't want to wait uh, for the U.S., Canada, they could actually be getting another batch in before we actually see them here in the United States. So, you know, you guys might want to give that a try, but at least check out the website, video description below for the link. If you guys like this video, please do me a favor and hit that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. And as always, thank you for watching and make sure to support Unparalleled Universe and back Odious on Kickstarter. Link in the video description below as well as the pinned comment.